us. That's a first. Where's it headed? Radio tower, most likely. Reinforcements. Great. Just what we need. Hey, be thankful for the extra target practice. Well then. How's it going, everyone? I'm Octo. Welcome back to Spec Ops Online, Chapter 12. There is a sniper. Pretty close by the sound of it. Let's step lightly. We got it. And, uh... Yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and deal with this guy. Trying to make our way to the tower that the radio man is in. Now, you can do this stealthily, kinda? They don't know we're here yet. Suppressor's on. Let's take a look. Follow my lead, Loco. Okay, so... What we're gonna do is volt. Gets everyone's attention. I've never been able to successfully do that part stealthily. So, I actually don't know if I like the pump action shotgun better or the M1014 better. I think it's the W. Yeah. It says it in the bottom corner. I'm stupid. Um, this is semi automatic, but it carries less ammo overall. And I'm not sure if it does the. Ooh. I'm not sure if it does the same amount of damage. It might do less. I don't know. He's dead. Is that Faith from Mirror's Edge? No, it's not. Okay. Sorry, it kind of looked like her hairstyle. Ah, shotguns, dude. They hurt. They hurt a lot. Alright. It might be more powerful, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, that was a bad throw. Oh, never mind. That was a good throw. I need some cover here. Maybe a little far away right now for effectively using the shotgun. Everyone? I'm down. Nope. What the fuck are you doing? There we go. Okay, so yeah, there's more snipers. Don't really care right now because I'm gonna go back here and grab that ammo I left. Oh, did not know the snipers could see in here. That would have been embarrassing. All right, I actually uh, should I use the sniper here? So what you can do here is you can use a sniper and take them out, or you can just order Lugo to do it. Oh. So let's let's Focus get Lugo started. The by the I'll do it too, I guess. Lugo, kill the sniper on the ledge. There we go. I think that's gonna be all of them. Yep. Good to go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so here is a, a little uh, little thing that uh, lets you know that Walker is kind of kind of not handling these uh, these circumstances that well. Oh, look, it's a sniper. I'm gonna kick him over. Oh, why is it Adams? Now I'm gonna execute him. Yep. Jesus, what the fuck did you do, Walker? Hey, caught me off guard. Hey, it happens. Come on. Now, okay, really quick, you're really shocked at that. I, we've been blowing people's heads off. You're shocked at that. You're shocked at me hitting the dude a few times. Okay. There's our tower. Alright. 
Adams, you spot him. Lugo and I will knock him down. My kind of plan. Take your mark, Captain. I got the other. Uh, I'll take this one. Got another one. So this part is just a shooting gallery, pretty much. Uh, oh, wow. I, did I just hit the dude with the RPG? That was lucky. Is that the last one already? Nope. So, uh, sniping in this game... When you don't suck and miss shots like I do, is uh, a lot easier and a lot better when you're not playing on the harder difficulties. Yeah, I'm trying to be like quiet for the radio man, but he's talking a lot. So uh, I'm, I think I'm just gonna talk over him. Oh, thanks, Lugo. It's totally the video games. Makes you violent. Totally. Time, hey, shark. No kind of looks like a mutant shark with like a whole bunch of eyes. This is all you, Lugo. I want that radio five by five in less than two. You got me? Don't worry about me. I can do my fucking job. Easy there, G.I. Joe. That's just a cloud echo. We hear that shit all the time. A what? It's a signal bouncing off the storm. Hey, now. Check out the whiz, kid. Yeah, I was textbook. You're the guy who built a citywide broadcast system for spare parts. That's impressive. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> you said it, not me. Like, I see where you boosted the transmitter, but how far is this thing really going? infinity and beyond or the storm wall same difference now you just fucking me. oh ye of little faith you are live and on the air my good man give it a shot wow that was easier than i expected thanks <gasps> Get the fuck off me, man! Have you lost your fucking mind? Are you really this fucking naive? He kept the 33rd on our ass this whole time! He wasn't gonna let us just walk out of here! I did what was necessary! You don't get to make that call! Well, fuck you! I just did. That's enough! We'll deal with this later. To anyone who can hear me, I'm the commander of an American evacuation force. We're here to rescue you. But first, the 33rd will pay for what they've done. This roof. There's a lot of gun between here and there. Into the tower. Move. You two go. I'll cover you from here. <laughs> like hell. There's no time to argue. Now go. Lugo's right. Come on. All right. So. Lugo. Radio Man's dead. We reach that helo. You start. You no, know, it's it's not that big of a loss. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Just get there. Lugo. So uh, we're just gonna have to make our way to the chopper here. And this part can suck. It doesn't always suck. Uh, when I played through on FUBAR, it was actually easier than when I played through on Suicide Mission, which I I no idea how I can logically say that, but 
it was it was easier for whatever reason. We're almost outside, Lugo. So, uh, just, uh, I like to have a grenade cooked for this door because it's gonna burst open. You can get a quick three to four kills. Depends on if that guy runs in or not. I should reload. Now, Adams will die here, all, yeah, all the time. And instead of going out there to try to save him, just pick everyone off first. His, uh, his bar has to fill up with Ray, so we got time. We got some time. Think, there we go. I, oh, not quite, but Lugo will uh, cover you because uh, those guys won't come down here. Wow, that was exactly 50 bullets I fired. That's odd. Okay, so now you just want to come up here with a shotgun or something like that. And just uh, just deal with everyone up here. You gotta watch out because there will be a dude with a knife. Uh, which, as we found out... Oh, actually, I did die. I did die one time. Didn't I? From the knife? I don't remember. Anyway, the knife is a one-shot kill. So you gotta watch out for the knife. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, no. I died. I was not expecting 18 guys to run around the corner. <sighs> you know, to have a tennis... Is it a court? Is it a court? I'm just going to call it a court. A tennis court on top of a roof like that with no cages? First of all, dangerous. Second, that would suck because you'd lose the ball. Right? Like... The second we reach that helo, you stop. I don't really care that it's dangerous, right? Don't you don't want to lose your equipment. That's just annoying. And I like how these guys just jump over this so I have time to kill them. It's great. Alright, so this time I am not going to die. Hopefully Adams won't die this time either. <clears throat> I can guarantee you that he will. Come on. Hurry up. There we go. See, that time he didn't run in. Now I just broke my own rule on coming out here. Ow! And I got really lucky that guy uh, decided to hit me instead of uh, shooting me. I'm not sure if a melee other than the knife can kill you. I've never been killed by one. Okay. You know, Adams, I'm gonna leave you there for a minute and just uh, pick these dudes off. There we go. <clears throat> Let me just reload this real quick. Okay, 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 I might die. I meant to sprint into cover. Oh, oh man, that was close. See, this is where uh, the shotgun just excels. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Okay, so note to self. Do not underestimate the people right now. Oh, nice shot, Lugo. Reloading. Like I have an M1014? Yes, he did. Kill the shooter by the fuel tanks! Oh come on, closer! Come a little closer. No? Okay. Fucking stay down! Grenade! Incoming! That was a good throw. Shit. I need 
Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have Lugo kill these guys. Kill the shooter by the fuel tanks! Oh man. Grenades are annoying. Come on, pop out, back out again. Come on. You know you want to. Not you. There we go, is that everyone? Not quite. There we go. Got her up, Adams. Right. Come on, come on, come on! Lugo, time to haul ass! Already on the move! You know, it doesn't really make sense that they would just leave like the pilot would get out of the chopper. And also fight? I don't think that makes sense. I would assume he would just kind of circle the building. But I mean, you know, it's an action movie. What am I getting shot from? For whatever reason, uh, your reticle is not uh, a good indication of where you're hitting. It just kind of fires in a, a like a circle pattern around it. So just be aware of that. <clears throat> Come on, dude. Hurry up, Lugo. I have you covered. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we're just gonna, you know, absolutely kill everyone. I don't know where all these guys came from. I only saw one chopper come in. But, uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense if you don't think about it. <coughs> Sorry, I apologize for my cough. Um, so I don't think it's possible to die at this point. You can die coming up at this big pool area because of this jerk. So just shoot near the TV a whole bunch. Eventually the TV will fall over and kill the turret uh, over there. There's a mounted turret. So there we go. No one can use that turret anymore. Uh, he's the only person that can hurt you, I believe. I may be wrong, but those are the, that's the only person I ever died to in this area on the hardest difficulty. There, take us in low. Fine. Just hold on. And uh, you can totally destroy these posters, which I think is cool. Nice little detail. Yeah, so you need to make sure that the turret gunners die first. And there's another one over here. That's why I'm shooting uh, through the tarp. Uh, if you're lucky, you can hit him through the tarp. I wasn't lucky this time. That's fine. He's dead. Now immediately start shooting out here because these guys will kill you quickly. Whoa, did that guy just like bounce straight up into the air? I, I'm not sure what just happened. I'm just going to assume he bounced it up in here, because that's what it looks like. Uh, and there is a generator right here. This is what you should be shooting. Actually, I don't even think it matters if you shoot it or not. Who is shooting me? As long as you kill the dudes, I don't think you need to be hitting anything. Eventually, the tower will just collapse. Yeah. So that's a, I mean that's not Frostbite 3, but that's pretty decent destruction. No, but Conrad has. I hope he was paying attention. Frostbite 3 is the game engine of Battlefield 4, in case you didn't know that. And Battlefield really prides itself in its destructible environments. <laughs> yes, sir. And, and yeah, but I'm sure everyone knew that. They had tons of ammo for that minigun just on that chopper. Oh, does wait, this look familiar? Wait, this isn't right! Oh, that's funny. No, no, I mean we did this already! Oh no, no. Ah, fuck it. 
I actually don't like that line where your character is self-aware and breaks the fourth wall like that. I mean, some people think it's funny. I just think it was lame, but that's fine. So this is the uh, starting area again. This was the very first thing, or this is what the game opened with. So now we are back up to present time. Except now there's uh, torpedoes, not torpedoes, there's uh, missiles you have to hit. Which are really easy to hit because they move slower than the choppers, which is really weird. I guess it's all for balance, though. <clears throat> So, again, these are vehicle sections I don't like, where it's just like, shoot everything around us. I don't think you can, I actually don't think you can die here. Uh, I know you can't die here in the beginning, but maybe you can die from the Sidewinder missiles, but I don't think you can actually die from bullets here. Your screen goes black and white and you lose all uh, sound, but I don't think you will actually die. Every time I'm losing sound, or like the sound gets quieter, that's basically when I'm dead. So, I'm assuming you can't die here. Man, look at those guys go, man! So we're moving into a sandstorm now. I wonder what he's gonna hit. Uh oh. That would suck. That guy is a horrible pilot. So, I'm no vehicle expert, but I'm assuming uh, being in a sandstorm in a helicopter or a jet would be absolutely oh, horrible shit. for the helicopter or the jet. Brace for impact! tried to save you. Deep down, you knew we all had to die. This wasn't my fault. Captain. Lugo. Help. There were over 5,000 people alive in Dubai the day before you arrived. How many are alive today, I wonder? How many will be alive tomorrow? I thought my duty was to protect this city from the storms. I was wrong. I have to protect it from you. Walker. Are you there? God damn it, Walker. If you're alive, then fucking answer me. Colonel. What? It's Adams. Fuck, man. Where the hell are you? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Lugo with you? Nah, he's been dark since the healer went down. Fuck. Well, where are you? Let's follow the smoke. All right, I'm heading your way. Alrighty, well, that area was sure reminiscent of uh, the Soro fight in uh, MGS3. But next time, guys, we're going to handle Chapter 13. It's called Adams. I wonder why that is. See you guys next time.